I think the best Christmas present Bill Belichick can give the New England Patriots fan base is to fire Matt Patricia. Merry Christmas, everybody. But I'm looking at this New England Patriots team. Offensively, they are one of the worst offensive units to watch on film. They're one of the worst offensive units to watch in all the NFL. He has set, he has set Mac Jones up for failure this entire season from jump. He set him up for failure. And now it's been a weird season for Mac Jones and crew with the New England Patriots. He suffered a high ankle sprain. And they seemed like they wanted to go the Bailey Zappi route until they realized his arm is not NFL elite level and that Mac Jones is clear, clearly the better quarterback. A lot of people said that Mac Jones has played terrible this season. Mac Jones has been in a horrible offensive situation. He hasn't played particularly well this season. But the offensive play calling has been terrible because Matt Patricia has been the offensive play caller, a guy that is known for calling defensive plays. Now, he was a good defensive coordinator for the New England Patriots, but why did you give him the opportunity to go out there and just give him the book to be the offensive play caller for this team? And Joe Judge, good special teams guy. Matt Patricia, good defensive coordinating guy. Why on earth are these guys trying to mix their nose in and call off as a plays? It seems like Bill Belichick got too cute and he was trying to over excite things in this situation. We have never seen a guy switch from offense to call defensive plays or a guy to go, go from calling defensive plays to calling offensive plays and be successful at it. If it has been a guy, let me know in the comment section below. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but we haven't seen it in a modern era for sure. And we're not seeing it with the New England Patriots. They have Tyquan Thornton, a guy out of Baylor that they drafted in the second round. One of the fastest guys coming out of the NFL draft, and they can't utilize him, and they can't utilize his skill set, and that is making him go deep and letting him make plays in separation. They can't do that. They can't get him out of space. And we saw what they did last year with Kendrick Bourne when Josh McDaniels was a play caller for the team. It was to get Kendrick Bourne the ball on end of round plays, and they haven't featured him that much until the Cincinnati Bengals game. And we're 16 weeks into the season, and that's when Matt Patricia wanted to utilize guys like that. John New Smith has been a horrible signing for the New England Patriots because they haven't done anything for this team. Hunter Henry has been clear, clearly the better tight end signing for this team. But let's not forget that Bill Belichick also drafted two tight ends as well and cut both of those guys and signed both Hunter Henry and John o. Smith. They're whiffing on draft picks and it's not working. And I'm not saying that Bill Belichick deserves 100% of the blame, but he deserves some of it. The drafting personnel has not worked out as well, but you have guys like Matthew Judon and guys like Josh Uche who have been very good. I love both of those guys as pass rushers. They're one of the best pass rushing duos in all the NFL. Matthew Junon is an excellent pass rusher. He's been phenomenal with the New, with the New England Patriots. And Christian Barmore has been very good as well, the, def the defensive lineman, in my opinion. Their defense has been their strong point. And Marcus Jones is a star in the future. Do not get it wrong. But when you have a defensive back having to make touchdown plays, it doesn't work. Their offense is horrible. Their offense can go down the field. They have a good, they have two good running backs, and Ramondre Stevenson and Damon Harris. But they're not being utilized correctly. The passing game is only 15 yards or shorter. It doesn't work. They can't stretch the field out. When when they do, they throw a deep bomb to Devontae Parker. This is not the New England Patriots of old. This is a brand new New England Patriots era, and it is scary to look at. A lot of people are saying, well, that's what happens when you lose, when you lose a franchise, Hall of Fame, once-in-a-lifetime quarterback like Tom Brady. No, we saw Mac Jones last year make the Pro Bowl, get the Patriots to the playoffs, have a decent rookie season. In my case, I say he had a really good rookie season into whatever the hell this is. Nine touchdowns on the season to eight interceptions. And I get it. He deal with he did get dealt with the high angle spray and they had to put Bailey Zappi in there. But I go back to that Monday night football game to where Mac Jones didn't put, play particularly well. They put in Bailey Zappi and they get ran off the field by the Chicago Bears. The whole team lacks discipline offensively and it comes down to coaching. Now that is a Bill Belichick issue. Your defense just can't win you games. The only ways the Patriots have won games this season is by holding teams to a certain amount of points. And that is by 20 or below. When teams score 20 or more points to get to the Patriots, they are screwed. So moving forward, I heard reports of them trying to go back and they're trying to get Bill O'Brien to be the offensive coordinator. Yes, that would be a terrific signing. Go and get him and let him be the offensive coordinator for this team and let him revitalize Mac Jones' career. Because if you keep letting Matt Patricia call plays until next season, I can guarantee you this. Mac Jones will significantly regress even more. And you're going to have these guys obviously not believing in the coaching staff because that's what happened in that Las Vegas Raiders game. They did not listen to Bill Belichick. They tried to make a play on their own because a lot of players did believe they didn't. Did, a lot of players didn't believe in the offense. 
we can see it on the field. They don't believe that they can go out there and they can score these amount of points. The defense has been a strong suit, but that Raiders game, while well, I was making the point to a couple seconds ago, it just came down to them not listening to Bill Belichick, and that never happens. That never happens on this team. A lot of people talk about who are the leaders on the team. Well, it's Matthew Judon, for sure. Kyle Duggar is a good player defensively. They have good defensive players. Jonathan Jones has been a good corner for this team when they lost J.C. Jackson. He's filled in very well. Those are your leaders. Your leaders are on defense. Who are your leaders offensively? You have none because they don't believe in the offensive coaching. It's obvious that Mac Jones is not a huge fan of Matt Patricia. And it's because Matt Patricia is a horrible play caller and he's a hor horrible game manager as well when it comes to calling plays in certain situations. It is, makes no sense for the Patriots to be this bad with the players that they have on this team. They have good wide receivers. Kendrick Bourne is a good wide receiver. He's a baller. We saw it last season. Devontae Parker, when healthy, is a good wide receiver. Hunter Henry, when healthy, is a good tight end. We saw this last season. And now, Devontae Parker was not part of this team last season, but they made a trade from, from, from the Miami Dolphins. They brought him over. And Tyquan Thornton could be a good gamer for you when we talk about being in the speed route and opening things up down the field. He can make those, he can make safeties take attention away from guys like Hunter Henry and guys like Jacoby Myers from the bottom of the field and when they run those things when they run the crossing patterns you can run things deep with him because you you have to keep up with that speed but we haven't seen it this season so let me know in the comment section below how you feel about new england patriots their season is done they're done they're not making the playoffs it's one of those rare times to where the new england patriots fan base actually deserves better i actually feel bad for the new england patriots fans because they have to deal with this and they have to deal with Bill Belichick trying to outsmart everyone when sometimes the best thing to do is to hire an actual office coordinator and let an actual office coordinator call plays. So let me know in the comment section about the New England Patriots moving forward. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, each and the last one, guys, stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Peace.